So this is Azariah Cuts from the Street, uh, July 4th edition. Who do I have with me today? Cora. All right, so we have Sister Cora with us. So I got a couple questions for you. Based on what you know, mm -hmm. what is Independence Day? Or what what it what what are we out here doing? What is the fireworks commemorating? Uh, yeah, celebrating Independence Day. Independence from independence from what? Shit. Y'all hold up. Let me get my Uh oh, go ahead and get it. Go ahead and get it. I can help you out though. Oh, you got to tell yeah, me. Yeah, I remember, remember it was July 4th. Remember July 4th, 1776? Yeah. Uh the so-called Americans were announcing their independence from Great Britain. All right, uh, that's what they was announcing. So July 4th, 1776. Now, my next question would be, what were our people doing July 4th, 1776? I don't know. If you ask me what they're doing 19th of June, I got that problem. Hey, that was another one. We, hey, we just had the same question about the 19th of June. So what were we doing 124 years before the 19th of June? These are the questions we got. We got to have the answers to because we got we got a lot of people. Tell me the answers. Oh wait, my brother said it. He said, "Where were we at?" Slavery. We was in slavery still. Remember, we didn't get free until 1865. No, this is this the history we need to know now. The next part is, uh, do y'all believe in the Bible? Yes, I do. So. There is some things we got to bring out of the Bible, kind of showing why and what we're doing here, whether it's good, whether it's bad, why we do it, why shouldn't we do it. Are y'all cool with that? Mm -hmm. All right, let's get that right quick. Let me ask uh, you a question. Yes, any question you got, Where come on with it. are you posting this at? Oh, it's, we got a YouTube channel, but hey, it's up, it's up to you. We can edit it. Yeah, we can edit it. It's all right. The purpose is that whatever you didn't know, whenever you leave, you'll have a better understanding and what the, and what God says about it. That's all. Okay. Yeah. So it ain't no it ain't no uh, to be embarrassing or nothing like that. It's just to give uh, a little more history that a lot of people don't know. Okay. All right. Well, we, uh, I want Colossians two and eight right quick. See me, I'm one of them guys. That is. Like yeah. Pictures. You don't like pictures? Yeah. Hey, Amen. But you got it though. Huh? You got it though. You got it. You got the you got gray. I can't tell. You got any gray? Yeah. See, that's wisdom right there. I'm 84 years 84 old. 84 years old. I got you. You got it. So let me get Colossians two and eight. Go ahead. Colossians two, verse eight. Beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit. So the Bible said, beware, meaning to watch out, just in case any man tries to spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit. Because mm -hmm. are we truly free today? We're not truly free today. I don't think so. He said no. He said no, I don't think so. And you said the same, right? Mm -hmm. So it's a philosophy in vain deceit. Go ahead. After the tradition of men. After the tradition of men. When did this tradition start? July 4th, 1776. The independence of America from Great Britain. But it wasn't our independence. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. After the rudiments of the world. After the basics, the rudiments of the world. And not after Christ. But it said, what we're doing here now is really not after Christ because today is actually God's Sabbath day. Dwayne, right? Okay, so so Dwayne, what we're doing is so we're out here. He explained it, but we're showing our people like, okay, Darren, I'll ask you a question. In 1776, in America's independence, what was going on with our own people? The Civil War, well, and, uh -huh. and the military, how we had an all-black army. They didn't want. They wanted us to help them win mm -hmm. the war, but they didn't appreciate us being right. in the war. Right. So let me ask you this then: In 1776, were we free, or were we still picking cotton in the cotton fields? Still picking cotton in the cotton right. fields. So, so, so it's very interesting how we can correlate that America was free in 1776, mm -hmm. but we weren't at all until when? Until That's almost a hundred years later, yeah. right? Oh yeah. That's right. True. In 1861. Mm -hmm. But then what happened a few, or 1862, what happened a few years after that? Juneteenth. Juneteenth, Juneteenth happened, right? right? So let me ask you a question. Do you think that, based off of just that, do you think that we are still free here in America this day? No. No? Why, why would you say that? There's, stuff is more, how you say, uh, more undercover now, but 
prejudice mm -hmm. prejudice is still out there. You see it every day. Mm -hmm. You see it in our judiciary system. You see it in just everyday walks of life. People right. just, you know, just do all kind of silly things to right. people based on their their color, their ethnicity, mm -hmm. their religion, all that. So let me ask you this. If because would you you say that we're not free yet here in America technically, right? It's more right. of a mental thing now, right? Right. So why why do you feel like you that we should be watching fireworks and celebrating the days that they set up for us? Well, I mean, it's just been a traditional thing, and then also to get the kids into it, mm -hmm. um, you know, try to teach. I, I'm like this. I try to teach my kids every aspect of life, mm -hmm. good and bad, right. so, and let them know that there's going to be things out there that are hypocritical. Mm -hmm. And you know we we celebrate a whole lot of things just like how we celebrate Christmas mm -hmm. and you know the whole thing with the white Santa Claus right. and things like that. But all these are mythical things mm -hmm. that we participate in in every year. Right. So let me ask you this, sir. Do you believe in Do you believe in the Bible? I do. All right, because you said something very specific. You said you know I show my kids you know certain things like even though it might be hypocritical or it might not make sense, I still have them. Uh, I still have them be knowledgeable of it, correct? Sure. Meaning that you would still let them celebrate it as well, right? It depends what it is. Okay, do you celebrate Christmas? I do. So can let me give me real quick. I'm gonna show you now. If the Bible says that we shouldn't do it. Would you would you maybe begin to maybe question it and say, you know what? If the Bible says I shouldn't do it, maybe maybe I should stop teaching my kids to do it. True. Okay. All right. So check this. All right. Read that real quick. No, give me uh, Jeremiah 10 and 1 first, and then we're going to go to Colossians. Because we're going to show you, like, with biblical proof that even though, like, America is set up on a, uh, as the Bible, as the base. But Christmas the, and Santa Claus is a man-made thing. It is a man-made thing, right? Uh -huh. But so check this, and that means that if the Bible says that we shouldn't celebrate it, we should stop doing what? Stop celebrating. All right, let's read that real quick. Jeremiah chapter 10, verse 1. Hear ye the word which the Lord speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. Thus saith the Lord... Learn not the way of the heathen, mm -hmm. and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, mm -hmm. for the heathen are dismayed at them, for the custom of the people are vain. So the customs, like Christmas, Halloween, 4th of July, Juneteenth, all of these are in vain, right? Read. For one cutteth a tree out of the forest. Now it's going to, but a specific day, right? Read. The hand of the workman, excuse me. The work of the hands of the workmen with the axe. So what do they do every Christmas? They go and they cut a tree down, correct? Right. With, with, and now you just somebody else does it and you buy it. But, right, read. Verse 4. They deck it with silver and with gold. They deck it with silver and gold. Isn't that in a popular Christmas song? Mm -hmm. Right? And what did it say at the beginning of, of this verse? It said to not do what? Um... It used go in vain and use the word. Uh -huh. Read that first part one more time. Yes, sir. Learn not. Verse 2. Uh -huh. Here we go. Verse 2, thus saith the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen. Meaning if you're not supposed to learn it, that means you're not supposed to keep it. Because if you're not taught it, that means you'll never do it. So go to Colossians 2. And I just went to that to show you that it's not, because you'll never see don't celebrate 4th of July or Juneteenth. But you'll see a scripture that says that not to celebrate the heathens, days of the heathens like Christmas. Because like it just showed you right there, right? So read Colossians 2 real quick. Colossians 2 verse 8. Uh -huh. Beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit. So the Bible tells us to beware of things like this. Like in 1776, we, you said it earlier, we were what? Mm -hmm. Still slaves. We were still slaves. And then uh, almost 100 years later, they give us a holiday, right, that, that pretty much it was like, like, you know, actually, check this. It actually used to be called Nigger Day. That's what Juneteenth used to actually be called. Um, I don't know if you can still pull that up from the notes, but there's a book that explains that Juneteenth used to just be called Nigger Day when because you said when I was a slave. Yeah, because even the, the so-called white man knew that, OK, that's a bogus day. We're just going to give them something to pacify them. Right. You know what I'm saying? But if they really cared about us, they would have let everybody know in the whole of the United States that we were all free. Right. Yeah. So 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 check this, sir. So would you be willing to stop doing Christmas and these other holidays just because the Bible said it? Well, the Bible, if you read also in the Bible, mm -hmm. Jesus was a slave too. You said Jesus was a slave? Yeah. How so? Because the, what is it? Pharaoh and his people, they, he, they didn't want to believe because he was the son of God. You mean Joseph was a slave? Joseph was in Genesis. Remember, Jesus, we were under Roman captivity right. and during that time, but Jesus wasn't a slave. Right. At the end of the day, it still tells us not to keep those days. Because during that time, during that time period, we were keeping during the time of Jesus, we were keeping Passover, mm -hmm. 
we weren't keeping uh what what is that that um Easter. We didn't keep Easter. We kept Passover. Right. Because that's what and that it'll show, that's what the Israelites kept. Mm -hmm. So that's why that's why I ask you because the Bible says it. Remember, Christ did everything that God said to do, right? Mm -hmm. So Jesus never celebrated a Christmas. Matter of fact, he couldn't never celebrate Christmas anyways because number one, it wasn't his birthday, right? And then also number two, we were told not to follow those ways. We were told not to follow those customs. So what we're showing, sir, is just we want to enlighten our people to show them, hey, okay, we it. we got to step out of these ways because they've been deceiving us for so long. They say they tell us, oh, y'all are free, but then you know uh, people are still getting lynched, right? That's that's still happening today. Oh, yeah. Our yeah. brothers and sisters are still getting but, shot. But yes. We, let me ask you one more time: Do you feel confident in keeping these holidays now that you've read that God said not to do it? <sighs> I'll, I'll think about think it. Think about it? I'll hey, hey about you know what? That's all we're asking. That's yeah. all we're asking. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.